The big fight was on Friday night, but I was headed down to Tijuana a few days early. I wanted to see if I could meet these guys, the masked men that have entertained Mexicans for over 150 years. Influenced by the Aztec rituals of the past, these wrestlers draw on modern day heroes and characters to create their own personas. They call themselves luchadores. Tijuana is the northernmost town in Mexico and only a 30 minute drive from downtown San Diego. It's a town of many faces and the raging drug war and immigration problems with its neighbor are hard to ignore. Right behind us, we have the heroin uh, needle exchange program. We're flying our drone now over the uh, exchange program. Apparently it's really to help reduce the uh, AIDS down here in the river. A lot of these addicts have been deported from the U.S. Separated from their family, their support networks, and with no job prospects, they fall into a downward spiral of despair and addiction. My dispatcher at Vocative had run some searches on the deep web of Luchadores fan sites from Tokyo to Tel Aviv. There was no denying Lucha Libre had a die-hard fan base across the globe. But I had a stringer guy in Tijuana who said he was going to hook me up with the Lucha Libre legend in person. What's up, man? What's up, man? Great to oh, see you. Luis told me he had gotten word that a wrestler named Damien666 and his son Bestia666 wanted to meet me. Bestia's wife had just given birth to a son. She now has to look over a child, has to be a provider. So that may be, you know, make him mature as a person, but also as a wrestler. So I think it might be an interesting turning point in his life and in his career. Wow. I knew Damien and Bestia were the headlining bad guys on Friday, but I had no idea what to expect. When you get an invite from a family that personifies evil itself, you accept. Damien666 explained that for him, Lucha Libre is a family business. Leonardo Sr., Leonardo Jr., and Leonardo III. That's his name. I had expected these guys to be total ogres, but they weren't. Does he look like me or? <laughs> you like, look more like me. Like yo que escogí esta carrera es, por ejemplo, mi familia. Cuando ellos estaban pequeñitos, yo quería darles todo. Y yo, les, yo hablé con ellos y les dije: si yo soy luchador, no tienen ustedes que ser luchadores. And then, Daddy, I went to wrestling. <laughs> este, I cry, pero yo sabía que todo esto, todo esto, golpes, todo esto, le va a pasar a él. This is backstage footage from Lucha Libre in Japan, where wrestlers are sometimes subjected to barbed wire and broken glass. Yeah. So, uh, that's from wrestling in yes. Japan. The sacrifice and dedication of these men was hard to deny. If these were the bad guys, I wanted to meet the good guys. So I decided to show up to their press conference and found myself at a local titty bar. Uh, I think we're kind of late. Time to meet, so it's probably over. Most of the wrestlers had left, but I caught up with the promoter and asked him about his peculiar choice of locale. Are you giving the people what they want? Bueno, eh, en, mi, en mi caso, pues, eh, va dirigido totalmente para los niños. Es, es lucha libre familiar, o sea, no tanto como eso, pero pues, hay un poquito de picardía, siempre va a haber un poquito de eso. In the meantime, the word had gotten out that a gringo rode into town on a bronco, and soon we were off to meet an up-and-coming, high-flying, young wrestling buck who wanted to show us some tricks. This is Angel Metallico, a week ago, he almost broke his neck at a fight when a referee botched the holding of the ladder, leaving Engel to improvise in mid-air. Engel recovered and was back up and climbing to grab the title belt. I wanted to know if Engel Metallico was a bad guy or a good guy. Porque técnico porque la gente me quiere más. La gente lo quiere más los niños. Los niños quieren más a un técnico siempre. The kids love you. Yeah. Y chicas, pero 
What surprised me was the athleticism of the wrestlers. These guys were fit. Then, Engel Metallico decided to demonstrate a move on me. Okay, let go, let go, let go. Okay, I'm pinned. <laughs> well, you know, we'll see, you know, after looking at Damien's scars tonight and just a little taste of what it's like in the ring, I'm gonna be interested to see what happens tomorrow. Ah!